إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا ما يهده الله فلا مدل له وما يدلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا تقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما ما بعد فان استك الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدى هدى محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار Barely, brothers and sisters as we said in many times up here all praise is due to Allah we magnify him we glorify him there's nothing worthy of worship as a deity except for Allah Jalla fi Allah and that the last messenger sent to guide mankind from the darkness into the light was Al-Imam Abu Qasim As-Sadiq wal Masduq Muhammad ibn Abdullah alayhi wa salatu wa salam My dear brothers my dear sisters my phone keeps ringing off the hook help me Help me, help me. Help me, help me. Help me, brother. Help me, help me. I need some help. I need some help, brother. Help me, help me, help me, help me. Ain al makhraj. Where is the way out? When you look to the left and you look to the right, there's not a brother from amongst us. There's not a sister from amongst us that needs some help, that needs some support, that's going through some problems ya ikhwan ya akhwat i'm going through problems you're going through problems the brother beside you is going through some type of problems the sister beside you is going through some type of problems we're talking about ikhtibarat trials we're talking about imtihanat we're talking about test we're talking about mashakil and mushkilat ya ikhwan we're talking about problems problems in the day Problems in the night, problems when you sleep. There's all types of problems that people are going through. And some people are going through so much adversity in life, ya ikhwan, that when you come to the masjid and you put your head down, some of us were just so happy to be able to do that these days. As we can imagine what other people are going through. Help me, help me, I need some help. 
Help me, help me. Some people are going through meltdowns. Some people are sick and tired of being sick and tired. They need some help. We look at the situation, my dear brothers. I need some rest. I need some sleep. I need a time just to relax, just to unwind, as some of the people are saying. I need a vacation, as some people are saying. Help me. Help me. Help me, brother. I need some help. What call Allah Ta'ala? Allah Jalla fi Allah. After I say, "Awwadu billahi min al-shaytan al-rajim," Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. وَمَن يَتَّقِ وَمَن يَت وَمَن يَتَّقِ لَا يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجًا. We find Allah Taala goes on to say, "Ya Akhwan, that whoever has something called a taqwa, this is very precious these days. A taqwa." And the Prophet said in another narration, "A taqwa ha huna." It's right here. It's not something that you could just put on a thob. And pretend to be pious, which the people we find that many of the Muslims these days, even for Juma, we don't dress up for Juma, brothers. I understand we're in the West, and many of us, mashallah, we like fashion. That's good. I like fashion too. I'm actually more into fashion than you brothers actually are. I used to be a fashion model when I was young, but my dad got me out of the industry. But brothers, when we're coming to worship Allah Azza wa Jal, brothers, we have a tradition, brothers. I guarantee you, if you were to go to my cousin's church this weekend. You'd find all my Christian cousins getting in their best attire. But now, ya akhwan, we need to get closer to Allah. So we need outwardly and inwardly, ya akhwan, we need to fear Allah Azza wa Jal. Some people, ya akhwan, they got high blood pressure. Some people, ya akhwan, they're suffering headaches. Some of them are suffering heartaches. Some of them are suffering heart attacks. Some of them are suffering strokes. Some are suffering uh, accidents, ya akhwan. Pain and suffering. Problems, ya akhwan. Sometimes the brother right beside you, you have no idea what he or she is going through. Help me. Help me. Help me. I need some help. I need some help. But who is listening, ya akhwan? Inshallah, Allah Azza wa Jal, he's listening to the cries of the people that are going through all types of turmoil and problems and fitna, ya akhwan. But sometimes, brothers, we need to cue into our ears when we talk to our brothers. When we say, and this is something which is a sickness within our heart, yeah, Juan. I think we need to understand the words that come off of our tongue. Kif halak, alhamdulillah. Okay, mashallah. No, Ahi, how are you really doing, Ahi? Are you okay? Are you still working? How is your family? How is your children? How is your marital relationship? How are your kids doing? If your brother is your brother, you can ask him and he can have that dialogue without any judgment. But the problem with us is we don't listen. But yet we expect Allah to listen even though Allah hears all things, Ya Akhwan. Help me. Help me. Help me. If you listen, Ya Akhwan, to the drum of the voice of the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, people got problems. We all have problems, Ya Akhwan. Problems, trials, tests. Who's going to help me? That's all that we seem to worry about, Ya Akhwan. But sometimes maybe we have the ability to help our brother or sister. And the devil will try you, Ya Akhwan, with all types of fitting. Here, take this little bit of intoxicants. That'll help make your problems go away. Get drunk for a couple hours. Get high for a couple hours. And the Muslims are leading the people in drugs, Ya Akhwan. How can I cope? How can I manage? The world has been turned upside down. Problems, problems, problems to the left and to the right. Everywhere I look, there's problems. Help me. Help me. Help me as the cause of the children, as the cause of the women, as the cause of some of the brothers. Well, lie, lie, lie. I wish I could let you hear one particular message on my phone, but it's too personal about a brother suffering on a level where he lost his children. He lost his wife, not dead, but there's a big problem for the brother. May Allah make things easy for him. And some people, they got the problem of what is called family. We all have family. Kids, some of us have kids, some of us are still kids. Spouses, even our cars can give us problems from time to time, especially on a cold day, yeah, when your car could shut down and then you'll freeze out there and possibly you could die in the cold weather. It has happened before. 
house problems, the toilet clogging up, you need a plumber. That's three, four hundred dollars. That's a problem. People got problems. I got problems. You got problems. Are we able to help some of the problems of our brothers and sisters out? The cry goes out every day all over the world, brothers. Young, old, men, women, boys, girls, families. People, yeah, when they're looking and they're reaching out for help. People that have stress. People that have worries, what is known as ham wa gham. They have worries and stress, problems. People's hair is turning gray overnight. People are getting ulcers. People aren't able to sleep due to their problems. Maybe we can help out some of those problems. When you see a storm coming, brothers, run, take shelter. Don't stand out in the storm, ya ikhwan. But we must remember Allah Ta'ala said, La yukallifullahu nafsan illa wus'ah. This ayah, brothers, it has saved me and it saved some of my good friends so many times reading the tafsir of this ayah. Allah, he does not burden a soul or a person beyond what they can bear. So whatever problem that you, you're going through, ya ikhwan, inshallah ta'ala, eventually that problem will leave you bi'idni lahi ta'ala. And we look at it, ya ikhwan, <clears throat> be great if I wear my glasses and I can actually see. <laughs> he went on to say, <clears throat> Allah Ta'ala says, and if they have Allah, Allah will make a way out for them and he will provide for him or her from sources and resources he or she could never imagine. And whoever puts their trust in Allah, then it will be sufficient. Yahwan, yeah, sometimes Allah Azawajal, He sends one of our brothers and our sisters to us. And if you listen to them, sometimes Yahwan, yeah, all you gotta do is go in your pocket, give them five dollars, say, let me buy you a sandwich. Because the brother or sister, he actually might be hungry. Some of our brothers and sisters might be hungry and they're shy to say, I haven't eaten in two days. You would be amazed at how many Muslims I have met, ya ikhwan, that haven't eaten for a few days, that don't have a fresh pair of underwear, that don't have a fresh pair of socks, that don't have any clothes, ya ikhwan. You would be shocked if you were to really investigate. But now this is the question. Do we love and really care for our brothers and sisters? Have we done enough? MashaAllah, tabarakallah. Some brothers, they come, they bring a bag of rice. Alhamdulillah, I've done my job. MashaAllah, barakallah, fiqh. May Allah increase you to keep giving more rice, more beans, more dates, whatever you can give. So people overseas are suffering, but people think because we live in the land of milk and honey that people don't suffer here, brothers. I'm here to tell you that people are suffering, ya ikhwan. If you don't believe it, if you really want to come with me sometimes, I will show you some things, ya ikhwan, that will not allow you to sleep in the night. But nobody wants to do that, ya ikhwan. Everybody's happy, alhamdulillah. MashaAllah, things are great, alhamdulillah. The land of milk and honey. Ya ikhwan, if you give, Allah will give you more. If you help, Allah will help you. In tansur Allah yansurkum yuthabbit akdamakum. If you help the cause of Allah Azza wa Jal, Allah, He will plant my feet and your feet strong. Akuli kuli hadha. Wa staghfir atubu alayk wa sallam 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 الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا ان هدانا الله All praise is due to Allah who guided us to this Islam truly if Allah he didn't guide us to this Islam we would not be from amongst those that have been guided Help me Help me Help me, I need some help. Help me, I need some help. We have the situation, Ya Ikhwan, that has been related to me by one of my sheikhs. The story of a man who he seen a sign that said, danger, don't go into this pond. Danger, 
no swimming. But one day as he was walking down this place here, when he seen somebody drowning in there. And the man said, help me, help me, help me, help me. I need help. And the man came to him. Didn't you see that sign? It says no swimming. You ignoramus, you fool. Why are you in here? It says no swimming. And the man said, help me, help me, save me, save me, help me, help me. And he became very judgmental of this individual that needed help. Instead of just throwing him a line and helping him out, ya ikhwan. And this is why the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he went on to say, إِذَا قَالُوا الرَّجْلُ حَلَّكَ النَّاسِ فَهُوَ أَحْلَكَهُمْ And another way, أَحْلَكَهُمْ Or come and call us, sallallahu If a man says that the people are destroyed, in one narration, he's destroyed them or he has destroyed himself. Because we're judging our brothers and sisters without understanding what is going with them psychologically in their, in their lives and their problems in life, Yahweh. And there's a remedy, Yahweh, for the believer. Understand, Yahweh, that we all go through some types of problems. And the remedy, Yahweh, is reading the ayat and the hadith of the Nabi, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wallahi, it gives us life, Yahweh, when we understand it, when we go looking for proofs and evidences to support our religion. Calling Nabi, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, men, men, yuridullahu bihi khayra, yusib minhu. Come across us, this hadith is in Bukhari. If Allah, he intends good for someone, then he afflicts him with some tests, ya khwan. Also we find the beautiful ayah, ya khwan, which I forgot earlier, for innam al usri yusra, innam al usri yusra. That verily, with hardship, there's gonna come some ease. And then verily, with some hardship, there's gonna come some ease, ya khwan. Now we ask some of the Muslims, what's the worst thing that can happen? And the Muslims say to die, or to end up in jail, or to be bankrupt. What about people who lose hope? And they lose their Iman, they lose their Islam, and they die upon that, ya ikhwan. That's the worst thing that could happen to a Muslim. May Allah save us from that. But when we look at the affair of the Muslims, ya ikhwan, and I just want to relate, ya ikhwan, one hadith, but I don't want anybody to judge anybody. Know that people, they have problems, we must try to solve their problems. And by doing such, ya ikhwan, we're going to get closer to Allah. So we know there's marital problems. When the COVID pandemic, pandemic, scandemic, whatever you want to call it, I know more than 30 brothers and sisters that got divorced since this started. I've known 20 Muslim kids that have been killed doing drugs and drug trafficking in the last few years. I know eight brothers who actually lost their house. They had to have foreclosure and sell their house. I know a hundred people that lost their jobs. I know, ya ikhwan, that people, they lose hope, but don't lose your iman, ya ikhwan. And we want to end it, inshallah ta'ala, with this beautiful hadith, which I'm sure you brothers heard from people more scholarly than I am, as I'm just a small, small student of knowledge, but I'm here to remind my brothers and sisters of this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he went on to say, Ajaban li amri mu'minin. إِنَّ أَمْرَهُ كُلُّهُ خَيْرٍ وَلَيْسَ ذَاكَ لِأَهَدٍ إِلَّا لِلْمُؤْمِنِ إِنْ أَصَابَتْهُ صَرَّاءُ شَكْرَ فَكَانَ خَيْرَ لَهُ وَإِنْ أَصَابَتْهُ ضَرَّاءُ صَبْرَ فَكَانَ خَيْرَ لَهُ كَمَا قَالَ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ أَخْرَجَهُ مُسْلِمٌ The Prophet ﷺ went on to say, Amazing, wondrous is the affair of the believer, for there is good for him in every matter, and this is not a case with anyone except the believer. The Muslim goes through problems and the non-Muslim goes through problems. But it's only the believer, ya ikhwan, that Allah Ta'ala said on the tongue of the Prophet Sallam that will have this particular manzila. If he is happy, then he thanks Allah. And thus there is good for him. And if he is harmed, then he shows something called patience, something that is written in the books of the scholars. That's just the word. But many of us, including myself, we need to go back and review what that word asabr means. And thus, there is good for him, ya ikhwan. I need patience. You need patience. We need patience before we become a patient in the hospital, ya ikhwan, with problems and stress and worries and all types of headaches, ya ikhwan.
Wallahi billahi tilai. Some of the things that I've seen and I've heard of, and I'll just give you one last thing and I'm off the member. I know of a Muslim sister, she called me and she told me, my son is doing cocaine and he's doing alcohol. And I said, may Allah help him. She said, brother, he needs some help. I said, okay, I want to talk to him. I tried talking to the kid, he didn't want to come and talk to me. So he himself needs to work on himself. Long story short, this brother took some cocaine and he did some drugs, ya ikhwan. And he was downtown Toronto, so tipsy, didn't know what he was going, that he bumped into the subway I was coming and the subway hit him up in the air. He fell down on the ground, he cracked his skull and he cracked his ribs and I went to go see this young kid. Alhamdulillah, had to knock some sense in his head before he changed his life around. Don't be like him because he had some problems. And Allah, he knows the best because I deem his mom to be, mashallah, mu'mina saliha. She made lots of dua, oh Allah, guide my son, guide my son, guide my son, help my son, help my son. And I believe Allah knows best from the tears of the mother praying for guidance. Finally, the kid got guided. See, Akhwan, people are losing hope all across the world. But if you ask that connection between you and Rabbul Izzah, An al Makhraj, Ya Rabbi, and you keep begging and praying and crying, inshallah ta'ala, brothers, the help is near. Never fear, the help is fear. People have problems, let's look for solutions. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Ali Muhammad kama salaita ala Ali Ibrahim wa ala Ali Ibrahim fil alameen ina ka mujid Allahumma barak ala Muhammad wa ala Ali Muhammad kama salaita ala Ibrahim wa ala Ali fil alameen mujid We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to help all the Muslims all around the world that are suffering those that we know of and those that we don't and also the oppressed people of the world ya ikhwan our religion is about adl we don't like anybody to be oppressed oh Allah help all the oppressed people as that's from our religion oh Allah help us Help us to become better Muslims. Help us to have cleaner hearts. Help us to love our brother for your sake, O oh Allah. And help us to be like the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, with good manners and good akhlaq. Akim as-salat wa rihamakullah.